In the period leading up to Japan's defeat in World War II, the empire experienced a rapid rise as a military power in Asia and the Pacific, thanks to successful conquest campaigns such as the invasion of Manchuria in 1931 and the expansion into Southeast Asia from 1941. Inspired by the Nazi expansion model, Japanese leaders sought to emulate its effectiveness. However, despite these victories, Japan made crucial tactical errors that eventually led to its defeat. The strategy of a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, although initially successful, failed to neutralize the Pacific Fleet and provoke the United States' entry into the war. Attrition tactics, such as kamikaze attacks, did not weaken the Allies' resolve but strengthened their determination to fight to the end. This military history piece explores from the Japanese perspective the details that led the nation to its crushing defeat in World War II. Japanese expansion in Asia, culminating with the occupation of Manchuria in 1931, can be traced back to the late 19th century. In 1894, Japan began to show its imperialist interest in Asia, which would lead to a series of expansionist movements. The control of Manchuria by the Imperial Japanese Army in 1931 was a significant step in its territorial expansion strategy. This action was mainly motivated by Japan's need to secure natural resources to support its growing economy and military ambitions. In 1894, after the First Sino-Japanese War, Japan emerged as a regional power, obtaining significant territories such as Formosa, now Taiwan, and the Pescadores Islands from the weakened Chinese Empire. This victory marked the beginning of an era of Japanese territorial expansion, strengthening its position in Asia and laying the groundwork for future expansionist policies. The victory also spurred the modernization and strengthening of the Japanese army, paving the way for further conquests, such as the occupation of Manchuria in 1931. The Russo-Japanese War was a decisive moment for Japan consolidating its position as an imperial power in Asia by defeating Russia in a dispute over Korea. This victory reinforced Japan's status and paved the way for the annexation of Korea in 1910, a move that significantly expanded its influence in the region. This period was essential in the escalation of Japanese territorial expansion prior to World War II. After World War I in 1918, Japan expanded its territory by gaining administrative control over the German islands in the Pacific. In the following decades, before the outbreak of World War II and the consolidation of the Third Reich, Japan continued to strengthen its presence in Asia, extending to strategic regions such as Indochina and Thailand. This process of territorial expansion, combined with growing nationalism, contributed to creating ideal conditions for future conflicts in the region. World War II originated not only from isolated events but as the culmination of decades of imperialist ambitions and geopolitical tensions. While Europe was facing the conflict, the United States opted for neutrality. However, this stance radically changed after Japan's surprise attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, an event that led the United States to enter the war. This attack reflected a strategic error by Japan underestimating the response and capability of the United States, which ultimately significantly altered the course of the war. Before World War II, Japan was deeply influenced by a military-controlled government and a belief in its national superiority, which fostered an expansionist policy. Internal tensions, exacerbated by economic disparity and the corporate search for new markets and resources, along with its strategic location and a formidable navy, propelled its imperial ambitions. This climate of aggression and militarism culminated in the attack on Pearl Harbor, a key event in the global geopolitical reordering, at a time when the rise of Nazism was also shaping the international landscape. In the era before World War II, Japan intensely promoted the worship of the state and the emperor as a means to unify the nation in a total war effort. This practice, although modern, was based on traditional Japanese values, elevating the desire for expansion as a patriotic and religious duty. Universal education and propaganda facilitated the spread of these ideas, exploiting the docility and respect for authority deeply rooted in the culture. Politically, the 1889 constitution established a monarchical system with the emperor as a symbolic figure, while the real power resided in a dominant elite. This environment, combined with the glorification of war and accumulated military prestige, strengthened the position of the warlords and cemented a powerful military status in Japanese society. 
In the era of the rise of Nazism in Germany, Japan found ideological and strategic affinities with the Third Reich, facilitating cooperation between them. They shared ideals of racial superiority and territorial expansion ambitions. The Japanese army's admiration for the German military and the devotion of its officers to the emperor were significant. However, in the 1930s, Japan faced serious economic challenges, with a Great Depression affecting farmers and industrial workers, generating discontent among the armed forces and exacerbating internal tensions at a time of external collaboration. In the 1930s, alarmed by the spread of Western political ideas like communism, Japan adopted policies similar to National Socialism. To emerge from the economic depression, the Japanese military proposed expanding into China and establishing a military dictatorship, using the emperor as a symbolic figure. In 1933, Japan left the League of Nations, highlighting the weaknesses of this organization, which lacked military power and the participation of the United States. In 1936, Japan signed the anti comintern Pact with Germany, seeking a common front against the Soviet Union. Although the alliance between the two countries proved more fragile than expected, especially after Germany signed a non-aggression pact with the USSR in 1939, surprising Western powers. The Molotov-Ribbentrop non-aggression pact between Germany and the Soviet Union in 1939, which divided zones of influence in Eastern Europe, including Poland, posed a problem for Japan. This agreement was seen as a betrayal by Germany of the anti-communist alliance with Japan, weakening confidence in Hitler and suggesting that Germany would not support Japan against the USSR in Asia. Additionally, it affected Japanese interests by including strategic areas in the distribution of influences, complicating Japan's expansionist aspirations. Before World War II, Japan positioned itself as a dominant military power in the Far East, supported by a powerful navy and air force, trained personnel, and a strategic network of bases. Despite the losses incurred in the war against China, 1937-1941, Japan pursued natural resources in China and Southeast Asia to sustain its expansion and economy. In 1941, seeing an opportunity due to the distraction of Western powers on other fronts, and with only the U.S. Navy as a significant obstacle, Japan executed a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, hoping to secure regional supremacy. This act not only precipitated its entry into the war with the United States and its allies but also, despite its initial success, tactical errors allowed the United States to recover, reinforcing Allied determination in the Pacific conflict. Japan's initial strategy in World War II faced key setbacks that changed the course of the conflict. Although successful in early invasions, the attack on Pearl Harbor failed to neutralize the U.S. fleet, failing to destroy vital aircraft carriers. This, far from weakening the United States, strengthened its military response. The Battle of Midway marked a turning point, where the United States, anticipating Japanese movements, destroyed Japan's main aircraft carriers, balancing naval capability between the two powers. Despite initial dominance in the Pacific, the U.S. recovery was rapid and robust, demonstrating its power on two simultaneous fronts. Japan underestimated the duration and demands of the conflict, finding itself poorly prepared for a prolonged war and at a disadvantage in the production of planes and trained pilots. The war culminated with the United States developing and using the atomic bomb against Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, forcing Japan's surrender and ending its imperial expansion. Emperor Hirohito announced the end of World War II in the Pacific, marking a decisive moment in history. Japan's formal surrender took place on September 2, 1945, with the signing of the surrender documents aboard the battleship USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. This event not only concluded nearly six years of warfare in the Pacific but also initiated the Allied occupation of Japan, a period that would have lasting effects on the country's reconstruction and political, social, and economic restructuring. Despite initial military successes, Japan's expansionist ambitions ultimately led to its defeat, profoundly transforming the nation in the process. We invite you to share your opinion on how this hypothetical event could have affected the outcome of the war. Leave us your comments and subscribe for more historical analyses. Thank you for following this to the end. If you are new to our channel, subscribe and follow our social networks in the description. Remember, the people who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it.